Hey everyone, it's Botch 3.23 Affliction, and today I want to make a quick video on some really new powerful tech that's been discovered with one of the new specters, the Dark Marionette. This is a specter that reforms itself when being killed, which is a mechanic we don't really see in minions quite often. It's to my knowledge the first minion that resummons itself when killed without you having to do anything special. The other nice cute thing about it is that it applies scorch when it explodes, meaning you do a little bit more elemental damage, meaning this might also give you a tiny little bit of a DPS increase. But the power thing here is that we can effectively use this as a way to give us a free aura in every single build in the game that in my opinion is better than divine blessing what we're talking about today is using guardian's blessing with the dark marionette to turn the specter into a temporary aura bot for us that gives us an aura of our choosing for a few seconds what I have here is a Guardian's Blessing that is linked with a Determination and a Ray Spectre that has the Dark Marionette summoned. As you can see, I'm going to turn on my Determination and the Dark Marionette is going to slowly start degening over time. And eventually it's just going to die. But as soon as it dies, it's just going to explode and just resummon itself in half a second. As soon as it resummons itself, I could turn on my determination again and I can keep my aura going that way. Now, the only downside here compared to a divine blessing setup is that divine blessing lasts nine seconds by default. And with a level 21 guardian's blessing, the dark marionette will last somewhere around six and a half seconds before it explodes due to degen. One way to counteract this is by using a lower level guardian's blessing. As you can see with the level one guardian's blessing, it only is an 8% degen, meaning that this is going to last somewhere around 12 seconds, but the downside is it's going to have 30% reduced aura effect. So ideally we would be using a level 2120 to have 35% increased aura effect, not have any sort of downside. Now there is one way we can counteract this and make it literally just as good as divine blessing. We can add in a meat shield. Meat Shield makes our minions take 30% less damage, and that applies to degen. If you count the amount of time that it takes for this minion to die, it, it's not taking about 6.8 seconds. Instead, it's taking somewhere around 9 seconds, making it just as strong as Divine Blessing while also giving the same aura effect. The other big upside here compared to Divine Blessing is that we don't need any mana to cast this. Because the big downside of Guardian's Blessing is that your minion will die and that it's physical damage per second, meaning it's basically impossible to really counteract a degen from this. We get to cast this for free, while if you're using a Divine Blessing setup, for example, you either need Eldritch Battery, and you're going to need a lot of Energy Shields to counteract the massive mana requirement of Divine Blessing, as well as potentially needing a Flash Suffix for reduced mana cost, or running a Inspiration, which has been nerfed to not give as much reduced mana cost to make up for the Divine Blessing cost. The other way you could use this is if you actually had a lot of raw mana open to be able to just cast a normal without Eldritch Battery. But this allows us to use a Blessing setup in every single build that cannot go and take Eldritch Battery, which makes it incredibly powerful given that this effectively uses the same amount of links that a typical Divine Blessing Aura Increased Duration Inspiration setup would take in your setup. And if you are okay with pressing it a little bit more often, it's actually even more compact because it only takes up three sockets with the exclusion of a Meat Shield in your build. In my opinion, I think this is just way too strong not to include in every build. And the nice thing here is if you are a build that has any sort of AOE regen, for example, if you're running a Vitality, it's going to make your minion last a little bit longer. And for example, if you're playing this as an Inquisitor, which gets access to free Consecrated Ground while you're stationary and through Pious Path, making it apply to your minions, this alone pretty much completely counteracts the majority of the degen, making your Dark Marionette on an Inquisitor last somewhere around 15 seconds by default. And I would say with a meat shield, this is probably going to last somewhere around 20 seconds, making the Sound Inquisitor even stronger than it is for every other class. But in my opinion, this is a must have in, in every build. And I'm just going to permanently include it in basically every single build guide that I do for the future of Affliction, as long as the Dark Marionette is still in the game, as this is just way too good to not use. I also want to point out that this is better than some other alternatives people have used in the past, such as Summon Holy Relic, which has a regen aura, which allows it to kind of keep itself alive. As with the Holy Relic, you'd have to resummon it every single time, making it kind of annoying, which feels bad given that Holy Relic has a cast time. Well, this has no cast time at all due to determination just being instant and the minion just immediately resummoning itself, making this feel substantially better to play than Holy Relic as a way to get the free aura. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. I also stream on Twitch every single day, so feel free to come by Twitch and ask me a question there. Or if you just want to simply hang out with the cuties, I'll be more than happy to see you there. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this quick five-minute video on how strong the Dark Marionette is, and I'll see you cuties in the next video.